previously a world of freedom. Conclusion. After the victory against the Great Prince, I set off to pay my respects to my father. I honor this victory in your name, father, and hope that one day you may forgive me. That night I celebrated my victory. Everyone that night was talking about my victory against the Great Prince. I've never felt so good in a long time. The thing that happened next was frightening. Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch! Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. After the guard approached me, I was sent to prison. I was still trying to put pieces together, and then I realized what I had done wrong. It must have been the incident in Unston that drew the guard towards me. I was also thinking, why am I in prison for a crime that I did not commit, when no one believes me, and the only person that does believe in me is myself. So that night I made the decision of breaking out. I knew it was dangerous and risky, but like my father, I too am always prepared. It felt good to taste freedom again. I ran and ran and never looked back. As I was running, I could hear the guards screaming out. I knew it was wrong, 
but for a crime that I didn't commit, anything is possible. I got out of there as quickly as I could. I saw a small fishing boat, so I decided to sail upriver with it. I sailed through the night, and by morning, I arrived at my destination. From there, I would travel on to the city of Leeson, and continue the rest of my father's journey. It took some time to think about what I was doing, and then I realized that you can't change what can't be changed. That day I heard a rumor that some woman lost her child. I thought that might be a good place to start. Hoping you can help me. My daughter, Dama, is missing, and I don't know what to do. That's right. My daughter, Dama, never came back from Hackdirt. I'm dreadfully worried something may have happened to her. Can you help? Yes, I'll help you. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. She was supposed to make a delivery to Atira Moslin in Hackdirt, so I would start there. So I left for the small town of Hackdirt to see if I can find the woman's missing daughter. If you're talking about that cursed Agonian swindler from Coral, I'd like to know where she is too. She never showed up. How am I supposed to run a shop without any merchandise? You tell her I want half off on my next delivery. Who? Nah, I haven't seen any young women around. Even if I had, why would I know anything about her going missing? Not that I'm saying I ever seen her. Guess we've got a room available. 30 gold per night, take it or leave it. During the night I heard a noise. When I awoke, someone tried to attack me. This town was beginning to feel not right. So I left, to see if I could find any more clues to the woman's missing daughter. I saw a trap door, so I decided to go down and see what I could find. When I climbed down, two men tried Outsider! to me, Kill! so I had to retaliate. You. There she was, caged, so I had to free her. Let me out of here. You must help me escape. I think these creatures plan to do something horrible to me tonight. Thank you. Hurry. We need to get out of here quick. Have you found her? Is she safe? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I can never repay you for your gift of my daughter's life. But you have my friendship and gratitude to the end of my days. One thing I've learned through all this is no matter what you do, Maybe you can make a difference. I will keep my father's promise right through to the very end. And I will stand and fight in what I believe, in what my father believed. My journey is not over. The way I see it, it's only just begun. <laughs>